There's a reason the Egg Bowl was the only college football game played on Thanksgiving Day. Words can't describe exactly what happened inside Davis Wade Stadium on Thanksgiving Day. Here it is. We're here. The scene of celebration. The scene of the crime, if you will. If you were a Mississippi State Bulldog, the final 30 seconds lasted a lifetime. The fourth and forever conversion for the Rebels. Play after play. Flags. Stopping short of the goal line. If you're a Bulldog, you just wanted the game to end. But if you're a Rebel, it was when are they going to get in? When are they going to score? The touchdown finally happened, but a costly mistake from Elijah Moore, 15 yards back, and a missed extra point that will be talked about for years and years to come. The Egg Bowl now 2 0 for Joe Moorhead in this rivalry. The Bulldogs are off to go bowling for their 10th straight year. The head coach, he didn't want to hear anymore about his coaching future here at Mississippi State. He didn't want to hear about what's to come with Mississippi State Bulldogs. Joe Moorhead making it clear after the game that this is his program and this is his team. No one wants more success than me and no one wants to win as quickly to get to a championship. I, I get that part, but I also have a sense of, of uh, logic and reason and, and understand that great things take time and, you know, we want to be like uh, – the 98-99 teams, because they were the last one to win an SEC championship. So we'll get there, and I understand people were frustrated at times, and no one was more frustrated than me. But to have a knee-jerk reaction and say this and say that in year two, and go pound sand. I don't care. Uh, the only people I care about are the kids in that locker room. And you ask any one of them who they want to be the head coach of this school, they do. Everyone else go kick rocks. Some last 36 was wild, man. You know, they, they did a good. They had, they had a good play uh, going in. I mean, we, I think we didn't execute a little bit, but we got, I'm, I'm just glad we got the win. I mean, it was just, I mean, I'm just, right now, I'm just, I'm just filled with joy. So I'm just, I mean, look, man, I think they did a great job, man. And other than that, I think our defense held, held strong. I mean, coach I always told us throughout the week, just to uh, turn the fight, to turn the fight. I mean, this season wasn't the best. I mean, but we got we got our uh, tempo as good. I'm just thankful for that. I told the young guys and the older guys, I'm not trying to be one and two against them. Uh, I'm trying to have a winning record against, especially that team right there. We're going bowling and uh, not better than going bowling, especially what we've been through. When they missed the field goal, uh, I cried, you know what I'm saying? Because every year, that, that's a rivalry game, Mississippi State versus Ole Miss. And we won against. <laughs> And, you know, we won the game. We pulled, we pulled it out. You know, we're going to a ball game. Yeah, just just disappointed. It's not who we are. You know, we're, we've been a disciplined team all year and just uh, just disappointed that it happened. I don't think anybody saw what happened. I couldn't see it from the sideline exactly what happened. But uh, he obviously got caught up in the moment scoring. So for Joe Moorhead and Mississippi State, they'll await their bowl destination as 6-6. Six and six, That 10th straight year of postseason for Mississippi State football, joining only a handful of SEC programs that have been to a bowl for the past decade. And as for Ole Miss, their season comes to an end at 4-8. and eight. Yet another game of what if, another play, another mistake that ends in a loss for the Rebels, that leading to more questions from Matt Luke and the coaching staff heading into the offseason. Reporting here in Davis Wade Stadium, Tom Ebel for WCBI Sports.